Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Let's Play System Shock 2 with the Sec Mod. Let's get back to the engineering deck. Holy crap, where we left off, we managed to get through cargo hold, and it wasn't easy. I think we died twice, maybe three times, I think it was twice. We died a total of three times so far altogether though, I think. Ah, my goodness. Way, way too many deaths. One time we're not counting though, we got blown up by a robot, doesn't make any sense to me. Probably the shrapnel. Anyway, we are now going to be making our way back to where that girl had been. Right over here by number four. And we should be able to get up there and use the code 15565 to access that room. Oh, we have a French Espen device. Go there. According to the mod notes, this can only unlock like the first upgrade for a weapon. And it's useless otherwise, if I recall the mod correctly. In the base game that you could... Somehow, there's not a cue. You could save them to upgrade your weapon later on for a free massive perk. But that won't work that way in this game due to how the mod modding works in the game. <coughs> Oh god, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> What's the sound? Okay, let's go ahead. Go the door. And finally get in here. Fluidix control. This is Fluidix control. Okay, let's finally purge the, the tubes. Level 1 hacking software. This. Somebody's been tampering with the Xerxes unit. In the interest of keeping secrets from the powers that be, I've installed a backdoor to the Fluidix control computer. To activate it, install hardware override 45M DEX in the system's monitoring unit in command control. You can find 45M DEX in auxiliary storage 5 in the coolant tubes. Key code 34760. It's actually 35641 in this mod. Xerxes is one step ahead of us. He's performed an override on the Fluidix control computer and blocked us out. But keep an eye open. You might be able to find some workaround. Oh God, don't get crushed by the door, Tim. All right, we saw that happen to a robot. Almost. Downstairs. So nervous with these doors. These doors, man. I have bad memories about these doors. Okay. So we have to go back to the storage room that I thought was originally storage bay four. And we'll find an override motherboard or chipset in there. A board, I think. Be able to plug it in there to undo the override. Right, that's all I got so far. Oh, I should have picked up the Iridium we once had seen on that one robot. I remember that we're able to, like, upgrade armor and or our modifications. Because we took Tinker. In addition to being able to create new hypos, we can also create upgrades for our armor. And implants. Implants, that's what they call them, the biomods. Implants. We gotta clear this area out of any enemies first. I don't wanna be hammering on the device. Was it three, five, six, one, four? Is that what it was? Three, five, six, four, one. Three, five, six, four, one. I guess if you knew the codes, I don't think they were, they're random in this mod. So if you knew what they are and played through it once, you'd be able to just use them. I can immediately skip the cargo hold. Okay, we made it. So we can't research this. What was the... What do we need again to research the Psy Booster? And A, I think. There's none of that in this either. Or was it Iridium? I don't think it was Iridium. 
There is a one. There is one TE here, though. Where is it? Let's keep. Nope. Oh, what I pick up? Circuit board. A circuit board. Not the correct circuit board. Where is TE? We combine this with, with it. There we go. We get an organic dissolution hypo. We can use this on various bits of hybrid origin to create a booster of some sort. There's only a limited amount of TE, I think. Oh, if we actually take the replicator, can we replicate TE? Maybe we can. Never, never occurred to me to do that last time I played through the game. 35 UDX. No, 35, 45 MDX. That's what we want. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Thank you, Polito. Oh, a beaker. We'll take this beaker. Very important to grab the beaker because I think there's some worms right here. Let's take a peek. Oh, there's some not worms. It's a buggy. Good job, Tim. Bullets and ten nanites. Okay, not bad. What are you doing hiding out here? I guess he's just drinking chemicals or something. What are the monkeys? Ugh, oh, I guess potato chips. Tim, eat potato chips. All right, let's go back to where we just came from and plug this baby into the fluids control of the computer. Then we're gonna make a detour and go back to Medsai to spend some of these cyber modules that we have and visit the storage to put things in it. Uh, normally I do that off screen, but I am gonna level, so uh, we'll do that on screen as opposed to this one instance. Actually, maybe we shouldn't. Now, so hilarity might ensue. And everyone likes, everyone likes watching people run around like crazy people, trying to avoid getting shot in the back by shotgun hybrids, right? That's always fun, no matter what game you're playing. So, yeah, maybe we should, we should keep going. Keep recording this one. There's a worm down there. We could also visit a vending machine at some point in the game, <laughs> but we still have a lot of nanites. We only have 390, and we've been using... How much have we used to heal ourselves? Close to 50? But think about it. Those 50 nanites, that would have been one medical hypo. That's crazy when you think of it that way, how efficient it is to use the surgical... Uh, Circle units. Okay. Hello. So I think we. Oh, where we? Oh, we got to plug this in back. Not this room, Tim. We got to go back to engineering. The cargo bag. The loading dock. That's where it gets plugged in. Not here. Here. What the heck? Hurry. Run. I am running. For two, what? That was a, a crazy dodge. That was an awesome looking victory pose you had as well there. Raising your weapon like that. That was really incredible. Quick save. Not supposed to see spawns right in front of us. That is flipping ridiculous. Let's get over here really fast. Go, 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 go. Is the We'll grab the, we'll grab the part. Toss it over here. Uh, we can hit that on the way back. We're, we're going upstairs, so we can hit it now. Yeah, might as well save those precious two, one second that I had used right there. Let's toss this over here. Oh, I'm so sorry for breaking the system. Uh, okay, yes. Let's keep going, Tim. No one's gonna know. It's not like your fingerprints are on it. It's that person's blood. They'll do a DNA check and they say, oh, it was Samson. He did it. That's his arm right there. Or his shoulder or something. This is what we're here for. Hello, systems monitoring unit. Let's plug this in. Well done. I'm uploading some cybernetic modules. Find an upgrade unit as soon as you can. We will do so. 
first, though, we're gonna ride this back down and now go to the fluid control unit. Cycle the coolant tubes, which will flush it of the radiation. And then we can actually access the engine core and power on the elevators. Now, all of this so that we can get up to deck four. Holy crap. Oh, let's recharge our brawn. take an explosion to the face, too, if we see a robot. Because we're about to pass the... Please don't be right here. Please, please, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we made it. Let's use this. I think, actually, we left an implant, didn't we? Back up med size somewhere. Now I'm beginning to dwell on it. Not necessary up to... Go, go, go. go. Yes, but you didn't see me. Okay. The, many. the many are wonderful. They are our friends. And finally... Now get those engine pods online. You have to head to cell 1 and 2 and reset the pods manually. After that, reinitialize the system from core control. But that system won't come online until you reset both pods. Keep an eye out. They're mobilizing their real forces. And they know exactly where you are. Bring it! You're, you're ready. Just let me know when you're bringing it, though. I hate being terrified. <laughs> this game, this game has scared me more than, like, some horror games have scared me these days. This is just crazy. It's crazy. To power that on. Okay, so we're gonna take the break. Well, not a break, but we're gonna go upstairs and investigate. Uh, not investigate. We're gonna go back upstairs, visit the, our our storage. Hello, Wormy. And level up. We have 35 cyber modules. Holy crap! That's more than we've had the entire game, I believe, so far. So nice to have this area completely purged. Oh, me. I want to search that body, but I. S we can leave him there. It's pretty silent walking on these floorboards, so we don't have to worry about it. I think they use the same AI that Thief has when it comes to sounds and stuff like that, how the enemy recognizes where you're located. I should really play some Thief fan missions again. God, it's been years, but for like an entire year, that was all I played. Thief, uh, Thief's fan missions were incredible. I, I believe I have the uh, fan-made X-Pack up here on my channel. Shadows of the Metal Age, I think is what it was called. Okay, hello storage facility. So, what are we dropping here? Let's take this really quick. What was... What, what did we search for this? N.A. It was N.A. Okay, so we don't have N.A. for that. So, what are we leaving here? Uh, this crappy pistol. We can unload it. I mean, granted, the pistol helped see us to the end. Thank you, pistol. It is appreciated. We don't need you, though. We have a better pistol, I think, here. In very good condition. Uh, we should probably, honestly, use the fresh Esmin device on it. Let's do so. Weapon upgraded. Okay. That was the rank one upgrade that we got for free. What's next? Oh, actually, I should have held on to that for tougher weapons. Too late now. All right. So I'm not going to need this for, oops, for quite some time. So let's leave my dissolution hypo here. I don't think we'll probably need well, these grenades. Let's take these two fragmentation grenades, because these take up to six, I think. We need you here, or we'll eventually take this rifle. We won't need the small beaker for some time. We can stay here as well. And I don't... Uh, scramble... Oh, crap, Tim! You had a scramble grenade this whole time. I don't have a hotkey for it, though, so it doesn't matter. I haven't been reading any descriptions. We're going to fix that today. I'm going to read, like, ten of them at the end of this video. Um, we don't really need anything else at the moment. I don't think I need... Well... I might want that surgical kit, so we're going to hold on to it. We already don't need the pig. We could leave that here. 
I don't need the radiation hypos with this gear on. I'm a little bit tempted to sleep that there. And then we'll leave the pig here. We can hold on to the games for a little bit. If we find any we'll over here, and that frees up a little bit of inventory space for us. Oh, uh, the shotgun shells? We're going to hold on to them. Uh, because we're going to keep finding them on the hybrids while we're in this area. So I can't think of a good reason to leave them behind. Alright, now we'll go and spend some points right here. Level up a, a few things. I'm thinking we should probably take uh, a Psy ability. Maybe we'll upgrade our research or begin taking hacking. I also do want modify. Like, there's so many things I want. But we, we need... We need so many things. All right, hold on, Tim, hold on. So first off, let's get our Psy abilities. Do, do, okay, anti-entropic field. While this discipline is active, your ranged weapons cannot break, and their condition will not degrade. Doesn't last very long. It'll last basically a minute and a half. But when we're sniping, this would have been a fantastic ability to, take, uh, to use. Let's grab it for six points. I wouldn't mind having Psy pull. These are all really useful, but we'll... That's all I want to spend at the moment when it comes to Psy abilities. Let's get that ability also on our... On our hotbar, as it were. So that's a rank 2 ability. Let's make that F2. Okay. Next. Uh, maintenance. We want to level it twice. We might as well do it now. One. Two. Wonderful. Wonderful. We, I now am confident that we can use our pistols, or, or the only weapon we can use at the moment, to greater effect. I think we should also take standard three. So let's grab it. Done. We do a little more damage with our pistol. We're able to do some maintenance on it. I do want maintenance four, and I'll probably leave it there the rest of the game. I'm not in that much of a rush to take it, though, because we can use our anti-entropic field a little bit. We're also going to... I guess we will pick up the shotgun while we're here. And I'll probably take a point in strength next, or endurance to help us out with combat. We do only have 30 hit points. Okay, where is a good shotgun? You. Oh, look at it. Nice. I like the look of it. That takes a while to reload. Holy crap. Oh, right. And again, everybody, smaller clip in order to encourage you to uh, reload in combat and panic more often. All right, we're going to recharge right here, and then we should be good to go. All right, let's quick save and get back down to the, uh, what they call them? I can't remember. We have to go down, I think, to the main, uh, Power room? <laughs> I think that's what it is. Alright, let's jump down here. Okay. To our left, finally. I do want to make one more quick search through the tubes here. But we can wait a little bit. I'm not muted. I am recording. Okay, good. This one. Wanna double check. I'll double check. So nervous when it comes to that stuff. Mostly because a lot of games these days have automatic saving and no safe slots you can select from. Makes it really annoying when you're doing a let's play and something goes wrong. Because then, holy crap, you've lost that forever. Unless you make backup copies of your entire save game directory. Can we, can we open this? Cannot. Okay. Hello, Replicator. Hi there. Please make your selection. Only 82 for a hypo. Heavy stores 20. It would be 100 for the cigarettes. And it costs 100 life as well. It's not worth it. And we only have four Psy Hypos on us. Oh my goodness. I see him. Charge! Charge! Missed. Missed again. Ninja. Oh. Oh god. Gotcha. And that nice for a trouble too. Holy crap! You know, it was a, it occurred to me today as I was walking home from uh, from 
dropped off at a place. You guys don't care about that. Uh, oh god, there's a camera around here somewhere, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Careful, Tim. That we have an advantage over all the monsters in this game. The vast majority of them, in fact, I don't think any of them, can attack while moving. Toxic mode. Which is why we have an easier time than them. We don't have to stand and slug it out with them, which would get us killed. I think in the base game, wasn't there like a laser sword down here? Not here in this game. Obviously, Tim. Grab this. They hit us six hours ago. Malone, the OSA spook, tried to tank one of those things out with a pyrokinesis attack, but didn't even break stride. Then it unloaded both barrels into his stomach. Falzone said there's a weapons cache in one of the engine nacelles. Maybe I can find him and the others there. Bring it, monkey. That was a nice ambush. Shame you missed me. Gotcha. Watch out for cameras, Tim. I think there's... Is there another? There is. He's right beside you. Gotcha. Anti-personnel slugs. Six of them. That's wonderful. Except cargo bay. Don't ever fully explore cargo bay. It is, it's a lot of work to do it. I mean, fully explore it, but wait till come back later. Come back later. Arguably, you know, I've made the game tougher because I, I'm scattering my points every, everywhere. That's a medical kit. We're gonna run over here and take it. First medical kit. Yeah, right. That's correct. We're almost out of the space. We're gonna need a point of strength. That's gonna have to be next, unfortunately. And then maybe we'll take energy weapons or something. Or, or more psionic powers. We might save up for Psy three points. It's 41 points though. That's such a big investment to save for, for that much. As the game goes on, we'll find more and more cyber modules in greater quantities. And we'll be rewarding them in greater quantities from Polito as well for getting tasks done. Alright, we did see him. We also see that camera. There's two of them here. with a shotgun, I think. Now they're both pipes. Ooh, nice dodge. Oh god, help! Help! Oh! Oh! He flung me from the balcony! That was awesome! Or did we just fall? Uh, we'll, we'll pretend he we'll pretend he hit us over the balcony like that. But made like a super uppercut. Good for that guy. Gotcha, monkey. Not worth it. Oh, hello, hidden shotgun. Shoddy shotgun. It's got only one clip in it. And another one of the side boosters. We still need an NA for it. We won't have that for some time. Oh, hello. 
body in the shadows. We'll search that as well. Looks like there's some cyber modules next to him. Is that a pistol? Pistol. Oh! He has cyber modules on him. Terrible condition. I see you up there. Phoenix tools themselves, I think they cost like 37 or more than that. Maybe like 63. Can't remember. I'm thinking either half price or full price. Oh god, don't fall down. I've been contacted by some kind of artificial intelligence that wants to help me reclaim control of the Von Brandt from whomever or whatever is now in charge. I don't know where it came from, but I must confess, I'm happy it is here. A laboratory worker from MedSci called me down to the vivisection room yesterday. He felt the lab chimps were exhibiting uncommon intelligence. I sat with one for four hours and tried to probe it with the Cyan on a Beta-4 cycle. It failed to respond. I, of course, assumed it was because it was incapable of reacting to the sophisticated Beta-4 cycle. But then, I realized it was blocking the probe intentionally. As soon as I raised the Siamp to attack it, the creature lashed out with its arms and projected a cryokinetic field towards me, paralyzing my arm. I immediately side dampened the monkey and then stunned it with an electric prod. Wow. I think we got that a little earlier. I just hadn't been paying attention to when we picked that up. Oh, that needs to be taken care of, Tim. I remember that camera. Glad it's not in a different spot. Worms, don't step on the worms. It wasn't like they all touched down on the planet and came back mutated. I don't think it was, it was quite that way. My duty is to the UNN and to this ship. But can I resist the call of the many? My father's weakness brought Shodan into existence. My weakness has invited these things aboard the Von Braun. Can I undo the wrong I have done? Well, maybe it did happen quite that way. Hi there. Please make your selection. This is really dangerous, but we're going to go down here and do a little bit of exploring. We're going to find a new enemy down here at some gun turrets, I can recall correctly. We also have a crate that we just simply can't do anything with at the moment. See that way in the distance? That is also another enemy. Okay, can we kill this? I can't even reach it. Oh god.
miserable experience that was. Uh, we... I don't really want to use a med hypo. But we should use one. Can we possibly destroy this? Anti-entropy deactivated. Oh, I can't even target it. It'll be faster, Tim, if you just use your anti-entropy. Anti-entropy. bit of work. Okay. Oh, we can finally probably safely search the bodies here. Pistol. Strength booster. I haven't seen one of those yet. And 20 more nanites. We'll probably be calling it very soon, everybody, just as a heads up as, as well. I don't think we want to explore deck four quite yet. Was a new enemy down here. I knew there was one down here. Oh my god, that is incredible. That is so freaking creepy. We need to research skill of two. Maybe we should research that next instead of taking strength. Let's search this body, and then I guess I'll do the custom stuff off screen. Oh, I thought there really was there some cyber modules down here, but I guess there wasn't. I'm gonna let's run through here really quickly and double check. Actually, I'll be right back then, everybody. Uh, I'm going to pick up from the level up room. See you guys in a few seconds. Okay, everyone. Here we are at the level up station. I'm thinking we're going to take... Uh, we'll take research up a rank. There we go. That will let us begin researching this item. And we don't need anything to complete the research, so we'll get to see what this is. It got dropped off whatever that creature was, so... It'll probably increase the damage against that creature. Send you down here. And with that said, let's go ahead and... Oh, uh, sure. Let's find a nice, empty, quiet spot, shall we? And read a few things on screen. That's that's not so quiet. Quiet spot. Is there a quiet spot? Uh, enemies tend to pop out of here, Tim. Hide in the elevator. Okay, let's look at a few of the things we picked up. Oh, we, do, we need to be charged our brawn boost. Let's let's read about our brawn boost. What is this? Cryogen Manufactory's brawn boost implant increases the user's strength by one, burning up one percent of its charge every eight seconds. The implant acts to circumvent many of the legal restrictions on athletic pharmaceuticals by avoiding any actual drugs and simply stimulating the musculature with electric and magnetic impulses. Oh, that's interesting. So it doesn't actually. It's not like a chemical drip or something of the sort. The Trioptimum Zero Phase Hazard Armor uses a combination of triple layer rubberized mesh, reflective shielding, and low intensity force field path warps in order to protect its wearer from not only vacuum, but other environmental hazards such as radiation and chemical spills. Competitors such as the Hazy Shield Group and Wacodyne have claimed that keeping force field generators so close to the skin for long periods of time can be carcinogenic. But most wearers are concerned, more concerned about their short-term hazards and prefer the added protection. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's not good for us to wear this thing all the time, huh? Uh, how about the exotoxin hypo? The Vita Hub Detoxification Hypo Spray acts fast and acts strong to rid your body of chemical and environmental hazards. Oh, wait, we, we've read this already. we read this already. Um, how about our... 
portable batteries. Electro's SIM Type 2 portable battery contains enough power to recharge virtually any power device. A small flaw in the discharge terminal prevents the battery from being used more than once, and it is fully and as it fully discharges upon use. Electro SIM has issued a recall for this particular type of battery. Oh, interesting. Well, they're, only, they're what's being, being used on the Von Braun. A light, high-explosive hand grenade. Three-second fuse, non-fragmentary. Packs the strength of a normal TC-11 grenade launcher grenade. Grenade launcher grenade? Yeah, that's right. Complete with UNN label. Nice. We've already read about the surgical kits, Tim. How about our shotgun? Shotgun requires a standard weapon skill free in order to use. Shotguns in the military had generally gone out of favor until Triop Consumer Division introduced a handheld version of this 10-gauge monster. While it works like a traditional, a bit incredibly deadly shotgun, this magazine-loaded behemoth also supports a triple-load shot, which has been known to split its victims in two. Complete. A few months after its introduction, its popularity with hunters and other weapons enthusiasts prompted a large-scale purchase of the guns by UNN military. Ah. And how about the thing we just picked up? You've learned how best to target the midwife for maximum damage. All damage you deal to midwives will be increased by 25%. Resistant to incendiary and anti-personnel weapons, but vulnerable to armor piercing. DNA sequence confirms that subject was originally a human female, cybernetically modified. An auxiliary CPU in the base of the spine serves as a controller, overriding most signals sent by the subject's natural brain. Both speed and musculature have been mechanically enhanced, and the cybernetic apparatus also serves as physical shielding for the softer human tissues. Due to the half-mechanical nature of this creature, incendiary and anti-personnel weapons will be fairly ineffective. Barber-piercing rounds should be quite effective. I think that's everything. Okay, everyone, we're, uh... Let's go recharge our... Our brawn boost. And I think that'll do it, so we don't need the midwife organ. That is really nasty looking. Let's get rid of that in some place we don't have to ever look at that again. Maybe down here, actually. We try some broad boost. Take the elevator down to throw it down up to level four. And then we're out of here. Uh, and then we're calling it a session. Alright, Polito. Finally get to meet you. Oh, we're wounded. Darn it! We're wounded! Um, okay, let's play for like another then 10 minutes or so. Uh, we're wounded, Tim. You gotta do this. Ah, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we're healed up. Let's head on up to deck four. Shaft inaccessible. We've been done the engineering. We can't do anything else down there. Can we reach hydroponics? Shaft for me, Polito, before I went up there. Alright, wrench. Let's move on then. Security control, be careful of cameras. It's been a long time since I've been here. But I hope they see me. Charge! Oh, I missed! Close. Gotcha! Jerk! Ooh, lots of ammo on you, though. Thank you, sir. Computer has nothing in it, apparently. And hello. More shotgun shells. I'm changing. My head is full of wonderful ideas and experiments. They have so many miracles to share. So much knowledge to give. They told me how to make this implant. They said it would make a better me of me. I wish I had more time so I could give it to them. Research. This looks like a research lab. 
Okay, stop where you are. There's a vial of an experimental material called Toxin A. It was developed by the Psy staff to reduce the growth of the aliens. But I can't find any data on how you should use it. You should be able to research the Toxin. I'm uploading you enough cyber modules to acquire the research skill if you don't have it. Wow, we just picked up a 10 more cyber modules. Wonderful. Do I think it's more than 10 to take it? SB times 2 and V. Okay, then, everyone. And we've got 17 cyber modules. All right, we can go back upstairs to the deck we just left, grab all the drugs that we need, or chemicals. Okay, the vials of Toxin A need to be placed directly into the environmental regulators. There should be four on this deck. If you can get a vial into each of the regulators, you should be able to significantly impact the growth of those despicable creatures. That should remove the biomatter from the elevator shaft. Okay. Well, first we actually have to research this, Polito. So let's get that done right now. We have enough to begin taking hack with what we've got. All right, so we need two SBs, right? There's one of them. We need a second SB. And a V. Is V in here? No. Okay, crap. Uh, v might be down in the engineering deck. It's a quick peek for that. Where's my chemical manifest? With what, like the last thing I picked up? Here it is. There's a V down there. Let's go and grab it. Deck one, please, elevator. We'll grab this, finish the research, and then read about this thing, and then we'll be done with this with this video. Go, go, go. I still haven't fully searched this. I think there's probably some cyber modules hiding somewhere in here or a, or a pistol or something. I don't see anything though, Tim. Keep going. We need to eat some V. And we can begin working our way back to that. Oh! Uh, yeah, Tim, you should. Sorry, I had a senior moment there. I began thinking of a different way we can go on the on the deck we just left. Oh, grenade templates are here too. I don't remember how we use these in this mod, but we don't have the head weapon skill at the moment yet anyway. We're killing them. I get you. I'll eat. We're joined with my wrench. Ha ha! Okay, well done. Let's get out of here now. Didn't have anything though. Poor Psy Hubbers, that's ridiculous. We would be completely out of everything had we used just cryokinesis. Well, I suppose we would have been saving points to up our Psy a whole other point to get it to four. This way. Oh, what, what was that jump? What was that? Uh, we should go back up to the other deck at level. I really should take strength up a point. Darn it, I want hacking! <laughs> one hacking, but we should go back and take strength because this stuff's going to begin taking up all our inventory space. Yeah, let's grab a point of strength. Come on, Tim. Can we just hop down here safely as we can? Strength, you are 11 points. We'll grab you. That gives us six points left. I don't think we can take anything with that except for another side discipline. Anything else rank 2 I might be interested in? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Shield you from 40% of radiation damage. No, really this time. How about that? Increases hand-to-hand -hand damage. Oh, we can heal ourselves. Increases strength by plus 2. See, science is increased by 2, but doubles the cost. Uh, 
That would only be useful probably for rank 1 skills and maybe localized pyrokinesis. But I don't know, that'd be a total of 6 points if you need an extra 10 seconds on that skill. I don't think that's worth it either. I think I have all the skills I want there. So if that it will be really useful, but I don't feel like wasting those wasting spending those points at the moment. I do like all the rank ones. So no, we'll just hold on to what we've got. And how about our weapon tech? Exotic has shown up now. But we need 16 points for that. No, we'll be fine. Is our research done? Research complete. Our research is completed. Just as I ask about it. Let's read about this object, everyone, and then we'll call the session, and I'll see you guys back down on the uh, hydroponics, or up on the hydroponics deck. So what did we just learn about? Placing this toxin in an environmental regulator will reduce local annelid growth. This is an experimental toxin, highly vir virulent, developed specifically to break down and dissolve annelid tissue. The canister is highly pressurized, as the liquid toxin would evaporate quickly under ordinary conditions. For maximum coverage, this toxin should be introduced into air recirculators, recirculators immediately after being opened. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been more System Shock 2 with the sec mod. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.